Welcome to YouTube channel English Madhuvanta. And today let's discuss a very important poem, English literature, The Camel's Hump by Rudyard Kipling. This poem comes under the grade 11 English literature syllabus in Sri Lanka. And actually it's a humorous poem. Humor means generating amusement or happiness and making a smile on our face physically or in our mind. This poem, The Camel's Harm, is based on the physical feature of a camel. That is, uh, any camel has a hump. You know, a camel is a desert animal. This hump is very useful for this animal to survive for a long time without uh, food or anything. It can survive the desert. So this hump is uh, attractive for this animal, but the writer uses this concept or this metaphor to convey a very important message for the society. The writer is Rudyard Kipling, you know, he's an, he was born in India and his parents were British. And he was born in 1865 and he was educated in England. And later he worked as an editor of a newspaper in India for quite some days. So, this camel's hump is based on the concept of a hump and it is based on mainly the value of uh, being active. We have to be active in the society. The poem conveys the value of becoming active and uh, working hard in the uh, daytime and enjoying the freshness of the air, the sunlight and all that. Those things are highlighted in this poem to be active without getting idle or without keeping oneself very lazy at home. Okay, now let's see this poem, The Camel's Hump. The camel's hump is an ugly hump, which well, you may see at the zoo. But uglier yet is the hump we get from having too little to do. Kiddies and grown-ups too. If we haven't enough to do, we get the hump, Camilla's hump, the hump that is black and blue. We climb out of bed with a frowsy head and a snarly early voice. We shiver and scowl and we grunt and we growl. At our bath and our boots and our toys. And there ought to be a corner for me and I know there is one for you. When we get the harm, Camilla's harm, the harm that is black and blue. The cure for this ill is not to sit still or froused with a book by the fire, but to take a large haul and a shower also and dig till you gently perspire. And then you find that the sun and the gin, and the gin of the garden too, have lifted the harm, the horrible harm, the harm that is black and blue. I get it as well as you. If I haven't enough to do, we all get the harm, Camilla's harm, kiddies and grown ups too. Okay, you can see in this poem, there are mostly you get five lines, 
So we call it a limerick style. Usually you can see in many of the stanzas, there are five lines. So it's more like a limerick. And also uh, you can see the camel's hump is uh, presented here, coinciding uh, this concept to our human lives. When you look at the first stanza, the camel's hump is an ugly hump. So the writer here mentions that the camel's hump is very ugly. According to his uh, presentation, and we can see the camels uh, actually at the zoo and all that. And the writer compares this concept with us, or he coincides this concept with us. He says that uglier yet is the hump we get from having too little to do. So the camel's hump is, uh, to a certain extent, it's uh, attractive for this animal, but if the human beings get this kind of hump by becoming idle and keeping himself without doing any work, what will happen? Even the humans also will get a hump on his back sometimes, becoming excessively fat. So the writer says that the humans will get a very, very ugly hump. And it's not confined to only the adults, but also to kiddies, kiddies and grown-ups too. If we haven't enough to do, we get the hump, Camilla's hump. The hump that is black and blue. Actually, this can be seen now. Actually, the color of the camel's hump is usually brownish color. But actually, when we consider this uh, black and blue, we can say that the Asians or Indians and the Europeans, they have the skin, the complexion of the skin is different. So irrespective of uh, this uh, nationality, any person can get the hump if he or she does not do any active work or without, if, uh, if the person is keeping without uh, doing any physical activity. We all get this uh, modern crisis. It is a modern crisis. We become very obese. Obesity is a modern crisis. Especially the people living in the cities, they face this problem. So the writer gives uh, the situation why we get this kind of pathetic situation for our life. We have a busy schedule in our life. We get up early morning with frowsy we head that is full of busy schedules and very lazy and grumbling. We are angry. And we, our tone also mentally and physically, we are uh, negative. Snarly early voice. We are angry and we don't actually tolerate others. So those things also have come into uh, play in becoming very fat and very, very uh, excessively fatty. And also the writer says now, because of this modern uh, society, this commercialized society, we become very, very uh, job oriented, and sometimes lazy as well. And we shiver, scowl, and we grunt, and we growl. So we find fault with everything. So the people have become their lives very complex. So the writer says, actually, uh, the person who is very, very excessively fat uh, needs to have some uh, space wherever he goes. So. He has to find a place at a corner somewhere because uh, he obstructs the other people. You think of a person, he goes to an audience. Sometimes his physical appearance may disturb the others. So he says that he has to find a corner for himself. And he says that, and I know there is one for you. So the readers also 
will have to find a place uh, to be uh, owner themselves. So when we get the hump, the Camilla's hump, the hump that is black and blue, we have to uh, think of ourselves. And the writer mentions about the cure for this, you know, prevention is better than cure. So as this famous saying, the writer mentions that the cure for this ill is not to sit still, not to sit still. So this is very important. And especially the Europeans, they froze with the book by the fire. So they become very sleepy, they become very lethargic and they idle uh, with the book sometimes. You know, the people have become very much uh, depending on their jobs or suppose a student, if he is a kind of a bookworm, what will happen? He will become physically inactive. So if we become like that, we get a camellus hump, which is very ugly, ugly looking. So we have to get a hoe or a shower and dig till we get first fire. We have to go out, we have to get the experience of this freshness of the sun and the wind, then only we can overcome this uh, obesity or becoming excessively fat. The writer says, you will find the sun and the wind. You will experience this beauty of nature, the warmth of the sun and the freshness of the air. You will experience and you will see gin. You know, gin is a very, very positive spirit, very helpful spirit. Uh, especially for the people and he is a blessing type of an angel and you can see the gene in your garden, the right dimensions and you can overcome this problem of harm, getting harm. This culture, you know, this couch potato culture, we can get away from this uh, society, from this uh, social environment, becoming idle. So the writer mentions that we have to work hard and get ourselves perspired. Means uh, we have to work till we get sweat. And the writer also generalizes this situation with himself. He does not deviate from the others. He mentions very humbly, he mentions that I get it as well as you if I haven't enough to do. The right also is mentioning that this is not only uh, possible for the audience, but also for himself. We all get the hump, Camilla's hump, kiddies and grown-ups too. You know, it is a common problem common crisis that even small children get uh, various ailments like diabetes, cholesterol, blood pressure, all those things we can overcome. If you start walking and riding bicycles, playing games like badminton, carom or whatever, or cricket. So we must have some kind of uh, hobbies to overcome this uh, problem. So the writer presents in a very humorous form the theme. Let's discuss about the message this gives. Actually, the message is, uh, it is very important to become active, to overcome this obesity. And also, uh, importance of outdoor activities like swimming, Gardening, especially gardening, is highlighted here. Then the modern problem, couch potato culture. Many of us, many of the people become excessively fat because of uh, this lethargic social situation. So this situation is critical, critically analyzed by the writer. So the writer uses a very fast moving 
uh, thorn in this poem, you can see. And also, uh, you can see the stanzas. There are seven stanzas in this poem. And irregular rhyming pattern. You can see some words are rhyming, but they are irregular. Grown ups too, enough to do. So those rhyming words come. Then hum. Then you get this uh, repetition. Or I know you get some lines that are repeated in the poem. So repetition also is a technique used by the writer. And this uh, camel's hump is actually having some uh, metaphorical uh, sense. It's a symbol showing the physical uh, feature of a human being who gets uh, very, very bad in his appearance. So the concept of hump is used for that by the writer. Then the coinciding this situation for the humans also is given. And you can see this uh, poem is uh, presented in a very, very dramatic uh, manner and it gives a moral. It's, it adds some morality for the human beings, for the society, uh, highlighting the value of becoming active. Okay, uh, I hope that this is a very short presentation based on this poem. And let's meet again, uh, once again, in this kind of a session. And I kindly request you to subscribe this channel and send your comments. Goodbye.